Hello there, today I want to tie this, this is called Combado, which means uh, something like, uh, yeah, just move, just move here, uh, but you know, just sit in, in, you know, kind of like a hillbilly, hillbilly bravado. Uh, so well, basically, this is a uh, this is a coastal pi uh, coastal sea trout fly, and this really is is one of those flies that when you just look at it, you just it's just screaming, it's just screaming sea trout. So so instantly, the first minute I lay eyes on this one, which is not that long ago, I simply just had to tie some to get them into my uh, into my box, and uh, and they have provided steadily and very well. And I know a lot of people who really really are are uh, quite enthusiastic about about this pattern. So it's fairly easy. It's not that expensive. And it works really, really, really well. Um, uh, basically, what we need today is is a hook, and uh, this is the Arex, uh, the Arex curved gamos, Arex NS172, um, a great, great hook. And uh, and uh, and uh, uh, in order to tie this, you need uh, you need some uh, you need some some chain eyes, some marabou in uh, in uh, in salmon pink, some SLF salt water in uh, in shell pink. Some spay hackles, uh, it could be hen, it can be rooster. I'm using the hen today because the rooster is out of stock and also because the hen is, is actually quite a, quite a nice option and I got some of those in stock. So uh, so if you're missing uh, salmon pink spay then, uh, then uh, well, uh, at least uh, when I release this video I have some. I can of course not uh, guarantee that I have them in stock all the time. And the last thing we'll need is actually first thing we'll need is this uh, mylar in, uh, in, uh, in fluorescent pink. So basically, I've just attached the thread here, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the thread all the way down here uh, to, to where the the hook starts to curve, around there. Going to cut off this, and then I'm going to make a tail out of this. And uh, and what this will do for my fly is it this will provide some 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 flesh material. Uh, I just cut a small piece of of the 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 mylar tubing, but it will also uh, provide some a lot of fluorescent effect, which is something that I really like. And not to compare with uh, uh, UV effect because those things are two completely different uh, physical phenom phen phenomena. Um, and well, there's a lot of debate going back forth, uh, back and forth about UV and and fluorescent and stuff like that. And if you want to know and know more about that uh, UV and and stuff like that, I've done an, a very very thorough video regarding only only this and uh, and what I think about uh, the different kinds of uh, of materials. So basically, I'm gonna do the tail. Like that, and I'm gonna cut off all the leftover stuff here, like so. And then I'm gonna move back up into the front here. Someone is calling, Leave me alone! I'm doing flat tying videos. <laughs> Good thing I put it on on soundproof. If, if you haven't already, I urge you, urge you to to uh, to take a look at the the Friday live show. I really, really enjoy doing that, and that's very, very funny. And uh, well, uh, well, I hope people find it it uh, interesting and and funny. I, I strive to make it to make it interesting at least, but uh, of course I cannot judge that. So I'm gonna take the the chain eyes, just two of those. A cool material, very inexpensive, and really, really uh, adds some uh, some nice weight to the fly and uh, and and works well. But I want this to be not completely all the way up in the front as it is here. I want it to be moved just a bit further, further back if if I if possible. That should be possible. So I'm just gonna go like this. I make a lot of tying thread here all the way up to the eye. So my and they went missing oh there they were again because I want this to be kind of like a small goby goby pattern so I need a bit of dubbing to be in front of that so I'm just tying in in uh, I don't know what it, kind of like the figure eight around here but in order to make sure that this stays on there as much I'm also gonna tie some uh, some looping around just completely underneath the entire eye and then pull straight because that will tighten up all the all the the uh, figure eight uh, types of, of, of thread I've, I've made so and if you really want to make sure that this stays there and some of you might argue that this will probably fish upside down now I've not experienced that but if even if it does, this fly fish is great uh, anyway. I'm sure this hook really, really has some absolutely extraordinary nice uh, hooking properties. Uh, the curved gamos, the Eric's Eric's curved gamos here. So like that. Um, and basically, we're ready for the next part, which is the marabou. So I'm gonna take the marabou feather here. 
and select a portion of this and cut off. This is actually the leftover part of the feather that I used for, for the Danish version of, uh, of, uh, of this video. And then I stripped off all the because because I want this to be fairly uniform in length, but not uh, but not completely dull and you know cut off. So so I basically I just I just tear t tore it off, and then I'm gonna use this, try to distribute it this all the way around the hook, as much all the way around the hook as possible, like so. And basically I'm just gonna tie all this crap, all this woolly stuff down because I need to have a body that has some bulk. And uh, and if I can do that with the marabou, then great, because then I will not not need as much dubbing. You know, you can save save a bit on materials every now and then. It will make the fly faster to tie as well, like so. And there you have the tail. Woohoo! Great stuff. Then I need a hackle, and uh, and I want one of these uh, one of these salmon pink spay hackles, and I, and I do not want one of the biggest, and that's also why this uh, this this rooster uh, this this hen cape is a good option because it has slightly smaller feathers, I mean not as long feathers. Uh, there is easily easily enough feathers that uh, and and many many usable feathers that this is worth the price of of half a half a rooster cape because that's about the uh, uh, a hen cape costs around half the the, the price of of half a half a a rooster cape and there is very very many feathers that are very usable on on the uh, on the hen capes as well so so it's definitely worth worth your while i tied this down in the in the tip of the feather with the with the the shiny side pointing towards me like so and uh, then basically all i need is some dubbing so i'm taking some of the uh, slf uh, dubbing here slf salt water in shell pink and that's also a fluorescent material, so there's a lot of fluorescence going on in this pattern. Uh, again, something that I that I like, and 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 that seems it seems very clear to me that the sea trout also are quite fond of these fluorescence, of this fluorescent stuff. So basically, just building a small body here. Um, I'm gonna I, w I want that to build up, so it's gonna be a bit thicker, up towards the it's gonna taper up towards the eyes. Like so. Yes, very well. Then I'm gonna take my hackle plier, and if you haven't tried uh, the 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 uh, the CF Design hackle plier, then uh, I urge you urge you to do so, because it will make your life. Uh, uh, I I'm going to say perfect in every single way. This is just one of those items that simply just solves all your problems. Uh, whatever they may be, then simply buying a, 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 a CF Design hackle plier will uh, will just sort everything. <laughs> That's a guarantee. Oh well, at least it did for me. <laughs> no, seriously, this is the 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 CF Design hackle plier is just out of this world. It is the best, the single best fly tying. Uh, tool I ever tried, and uh, and uh, if I should only pick one tool to point out to be uh, the thing that, that really was, you know, not just something you could get from any other brand, then really this is th this is the one. This is just magnificent and phenomenal, and nothing nothing even compares to it. So basically, that was the hackle. Now I'm gonna take some more SLF salt water dopping and create a small head up here uh, uh, by tying again in. Uh, in uh, in turns all the way around and between uh, between the eyes here kind of like uh, the figure eight again so this is going to be slightly bigger uh, than the other like so and uh, well basically there you have it a small deadly deadly goby a type of fly in deadly colors with a lot of fluorescence uh, has a jiggly effect in the water because of the the the, the bead eyes and uh, well truly truly awesome and uh, this fly would be seriously deadly in grizzly and in tan and stuff like that as well maybe I should do a tutorial with that because really this is this is a deadly way to uh, to uh, to build a fly so basically I just take my my uh, dubbing brush and uh, and force everything to 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 be in the right position here like so and there you have it 
a deadly, deadly small, very simple, uh, simplistic and easy to tie fly that really, really, really does make a difference uh, in the box. And this is a nice, uh, nice alternative to uh, to to the pedigrees, for instance, because this is slightly smaller. So if if you if you, the fish are wary and and you know they're only following your flies and stuff like that, uh, you can you can sh switch down and and add one of these flies and uh, and definitely definitely that can uh, that can do the trick. And also this hook here, as I said before, it's it's simply just deadly. The big uh, the big uh, hook gape here is just magnificent, and uh, and the point is 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 sharp as hell. Uh, really, really, really a nice hook. This Arex NS one seventy two curved gamma was. So thank you for tuning in, um, and uh, and hope you enjoyed this, and uh, and good luck to you on the water. And of course remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you.